Now the next thing we want to do here is I think we're going to go ahead and just kind of sort of lay out the wine glass. Now this is kind of interesting. Take your number four round sable brush. This is going to be kind of fun. You take just plain white now out of your, your with your gesso here, and you get a nice, now this is going to be hard. I'm probably going to drive our camera people crazy too, but that's okay. They're kind of there anyway. So let's just go ahead and do this. Drag your brush like this. Let's see if I can get, okay. You want to skip it. Don't make a solid line. You kind of skip. Okay, so this will be the edge of the glass here. Okay, just put a little line like that. Now, on the rim, do a similar thing. You don't make it solid. You just kind of skip it along, and your eye will finish the rest. Okay, so you have to skip it so it looks more like glass. And you come down the other side, and I'll probably hide this, but I can't help it. So just come down the side. Okay, see that gives it just a little glow underneath. down here where the um, stem is, we do the same thing. We just kind of sort of outline it. See how that just brings it down there? And then you just come underneath it here. Now there's a spot or two where you make it just a little brighter like that. See, So it looks a little more like glow, uh, cut crystal or whatever. challenging to do if you've never done this before, especially because you have to be fairly symmetrical with your strokes, see? So you kind of get it laid out like that, and then this is where you can come back in now, and you make a few little areas, you know, where it's a little sparkly, where it looks like the glass, you know how when the sun hits, or the any kind of light hits the glass, it creates these little sparkles. Like, like that. See, I kind of skip like that. It just kind of adds a nice little touch to it. Now what I like to do is take a bigger brush, a number four flat sable, and take a little white with a little bit of crimson, and we create some, uh, some value changes of that wine color to do a similar thing. See, it's a nice creamy color right there. I have to use my easel for a palette there because sometimes you just have to. See, like on the top of it here. Okay, it kind of helps to settle the wine a little. So I just put little strokes. That kind of helps to diffuse the light. Adds a little bit of color. To get that just a little redder. I want to get that crimson to show up a little more. That's better. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer. Okay. Now on this crystal glass down here at the base, uh, you could do a couple of things. There's it's got a little rim around it. You can just kind of 
make it just a quick little rim, take your finger and smush it around there like that. Some place it's a little more solid. But see, that kind of gives you the suggestion that it's kind of crystallized down there, and you don't have to do a whole lot to it, you guys. Just quick little touches, and you're done with it. And remember, again, these.